let my gear load the truck Heading out, don't give a truck Rifles, lock boots, tie tight Gonna catch that deer all through the night So the aim here is, just to see, I'm checking the, the ballistic calculator on the Arkansas 520. We're at 146 metres, 2 inch target, fox target, let's see if we even hit it. Possibly. <laughs> it looked in the right direction. 146 metres. Let's see. So, I'm uh, down at the farm. Just did a little video in regards to how sh long, sh uh, how often should you check your zero. I am testing, now I've checked the zero on the Arkansas on the 223. I'm um, um, for foxing. Checking the zero out to different ranges, not the zero, the ballistic calculator out to the different ranges. First shot, replace the targets. There's one hole from the 270 you'll see in the other video, um, but there should be no other holes in the targets. Um, but the, that one shot is like way in the top of the head. I'm going for a chest shot, chest shot target you'll see from my footage on the 520. Man, it's warm today, very warm today. Um, 146 metres at the moment. Um, Nozzler ballistic tip, 55 grain. A little bit. One mile per hour wind. See if we get any pull at 146. I used to hold over on the data. We'll see. So, I used to hold over on the data. Um, that it told me elevation was perfect but a little bit off might have had a bit of deflection with wind winds one or two mile per hour shouldn't be that far out at um, 146 meters it's around about 160 yards still a kill shot arguably I didn't hold for wind I just would hold for the center um, well have a look at uh, a little bit further and see how far. So 146 metres. So we're at 172 metres now. So we're at 172 metres. I didn't account for the wind the last time. Um, there was a little bit of battle. You can see the mirage, I think. Got one or two mile per hour wind coming from the right to the left. That pulled my shot about two inches. So what I'm going to do is, wind's dropped a little. <laughs> I'm just going to hold a little bit, give a little bit for wind. 
just on the front shoulder. I'm going to see where that is. 172 meters. So, the second shot now, 172 meters. I held for wind this time. I didn't hold for wind the last time. Mainly because of the fact that genuinely I didn't think there was that much wind. Um, running from right to left, kind of true as well, coming at the face. So I've given a little bit of, I don't know if I should have, but I've given a little bit of hold for wind and see if I get. The elevation on the other one was fine, so the ranging was working fine on the other one. This is not about ranging now. This is about working the windage. And to be honest, that is up to you as a shooter, not as uh, not the actual technology. And this is important when you're dealing with these ballistic calculators and stuff like that. Yes, perfect holdover. You think it's perfect night looking. I'm in the sun, not a cloud in the sky, literally not a cloud in the sky, maybe. Nope, not one, not seeing any. Um, <laughs> sun's beating in my face and I am pretty much just, so 172 metres is, oh, I can't remember what the conversion is, about 180 yards, nearly 200 yards. Um, so we'll have a look. And it's amazing, I do well actually with wind usually. Today I just thought, well, I'm that close to the ground, there's no, there's, not, there's nothing. There's a bit of grass between us. That could cause deflection, could cause it for breaking up, might not even hit it. Hmm. So, have I got any holes in it? Oh, wow. Right. Because I held for wind, not going to believe this. 172 meters. And that was holding for wind. So there was the first shot. I didn't hold for wind. There was the second shot. I hold for wind just on the front leg. You'll see from the shot. And I am. Um, I need to take a picture of that. 172 meters. That's not bad. So the Zulus is working. I'm going to try and take it out a little bit further. Grass is long, um, but hey, um, I'll see if I can actually get a shot out. If I can get one closer on target, that would be awesome. But uh, let's see if I can take it out a little bit further. I'm just guesstimating the distances at the time and allowing the range, uh, allowing the, um, the scope to do the ranging for me. So let's go. Let's try another one. So we're at 195 metres. Now I got a little problem. My gra I've got bits of grass that are in my way of the target and myself. I hit a blade of the grass, it could deflect this, but let's go a similar holdover bef than before. First of all, Like, I do have a bit of grass here, I'm just a little bit concerned about it, you'll see it there. But, we'll do the same holdover as before. Yeah, hold in front as before. Hundred and ninety five meters, that's over two hundred yards. Let's see. So I'm back at the target. I don't really have high hopes for this one. <laughs> hundred and ninety five meters, which is over two hundred five uh, two hundred yards. I'll do the calculation and put it up in the screen somewhere. <sighs> Gave a similar hold, wind hold, as I did the on the previous shot. And I hit the target 195 yards. So the ranging is work. 
195 metres, sorry, you'll see on the video, 195 metres, I've took footage on there. So that was the first shot, I gave no hold. Still a dead fox, arguably still a dead fox. Not a humane, I, I wouldn't have seen it would have been a nice shot, um, but I've seen worse. And it does kill them automatically, but let's just say, okay. One or two mile per hour wind. I didn't think it would make that much of a difference, but it does. Um, that was the second shot. I've only taken three shots. That was the second shot. And that was um, holding around about here. And that was the third shot there at 195 metres. So that was 174, that was 142, and that was 195. And I was holding around about there. And that was what the drift was. That was what the wind drift is. So although the ballistic drop works, the ballistic calculator works for elevation, you really need to still think about your windage, think about everything, especially when you're shooting something this small. Basically, all of those bullets are in the size of my hand, you know? I didn't take multiple shots, see what the grippings were or anything like that. I know my grippings at 100 are fine. So if I held there, I'd probably, at 195, I'd probably hit a couple around about the same area, you know? But that's the joys of reloading because genuinely, I'll, at least I know what's going on with my rifle. If you're using factory, you don't know what's going on with your rifle. So there it is. 223, 195 metres. Using the ballistic calculator, um, elevation was perfect. Wind is about one to two mile per hour, as for the hold. Um, it really did mean that, like I, I still hit the fox target, it would have been an impact anyway, um, it, so it wouldn't have been a big deal. Um, it just shows you where you're holding. Now, if you were holding for the centre of that fox, you'd be closer to the back end of the fox. If you were... Now, I took the shot from a... I took the shot from a way, way over there. And about there. That's a long old way. To be fair, that's probably as far as I could shoot here on this farm. Uh, that is probably the furthest I would shoot on this farm. Um, there are areas where you could shoot probably three to four hundred yards, but at night, why would you want to? You wouldn't know what you were up to, up against, in between you and the fox. And if you get, did get, if it did run on maybe 50, 60 yards, even a hundred yards, you might never ever find it. So, I keep my ranges well within the 200 yard mark anyway, uh, usually well within the 150 yard mark so 142 meters that little bit of wind drift there the the wind drift seemed consistent even out to that distance and actually make much of a difference in regards to um on my hold i used practically the same hold each uh, each time i took a shot um look at the footage um hopefully that kind of the first time i've really been out with the center fire showing um it used on the 223 at longer ranges at 200 metres um, or 195 metres. Um, so, uh, do you know what? I still say it's a perfect little foxing setup. Fantastic for your uh, low calibre rifles. Um, I'm waiting for some screws uh, to put it back on my 270 and uh, we'll, we'll get out with the 270 and do a little bit more shooting in regards to that as well. Um, I've had it on the 270, 6.5 and 243, and they're all fantastic. Um, but you tend to try and push it out a little bit further with the bigger calibers. Um, the 223, it's always a little bit more fickle when it comes to wind. 55 grain bullet is not heavy. So I've got the 243 as well. Um, I've set that up with a 55 grain bullet as well. And God, that's shooting fast at 3,750 FPS. This is shooting at 3,150 FPS. So I can only imagine what it'll be like. Um, that'll come soon. Um, but yeah, thank you for watching. Stay safe. Happy hunting. I'll catch you again. Oh.